Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. I am very excited. I just got in a couple of new items that I had ordered off the internet and I wanted to shoot a quick video uh, on these things. Um, they're both uh, similar items. I bought a, uh, two stoves, wood burning stoves, and uh, they're just two different sizes, a larger one and a smaller one. And we will go over the small one first. Basically these are pocket stainless steel wood stoves and so you get a bowl and so what we have is the base grill or grate that the wood ashes sit on so your ash grate no ash pan they drop straight through and then you have a four piece stainless steel hinged design that all folds pretty flat and uh, I will get weight measurements on these and uh, roll that footage in uh, towards the end but the way this works is the hinges go to the outside and then you have slots uh, I'm not quite sure like I said I think that the uh, top slots are for an alcohol burner to sit directly in here I'm gonna try it with a transia stove before too long but the bottom slots here are for the sides of the grate Sticks in this side, folds around. The other corresponding side has a slot as well. And voila, there we have it. So it is a standard wood burning stove design. Uh, it is not a wood gas stove or anything, but they are very efficient. You've got your feeder door here and your pot essentially just sits right on top. This is one of the Coleman aluminum cook pots that comes in the uh, four piece set. This is the larger of the two. It fits on there just perfect. Uh, let me see, I've got the smaller of the two here. And that even fits on there nicely. A very popular pot that is being used is the Stanley. It does not. It will sit on it, but it's certainly not enough to be what I would consider stable. Uh, you would need an extra grate or something to sit on there, I believe, in order to make that stable. So it's got to be larger than the Stanley pot. Um, I do not have a GSI cup uh, glacier mug handy right now uh, so I can't test that but it should fit if the small Coleman cup fits on there so that's the small one it seems to be made pretty good I mean it's thin stainless steel but that's ideally what you want when uh, when you're talking about backpacking and lighter weight and uh, it's small enough and folds flat enough that it can certainly be used as a primary or secondary stove doesn't take up a whole lot of space uh, even if the weight is a little heavier um, so I think it is a, certainly a, a good option and uh, I will know more as I get some testing done and see how it performs decent little nylon carry bags nothing special about it velcro closure this one has a larger pan the pan is uh, a little dented Open up the stove here. And this one actually comes with a steel grate for grilling. We'll set that aside for now. The exact same design, only larger. Same design here. I'll slide that in the bottom. Obviously, for a much larger um, cook pot, if you're just using this by itself, is the door. And I believe that that is the plan there, even though there were no instructions. Fits under it exactly the same way the other one does, so my guess is that's an ash pan. Not a bad idea, I guess. It would have been better if it was flat and slid in like some of the others. But this is a stainless steel wire grill. Um, 
to be used both as a support for your pots for a smaller pot to sit on even smaller works just fine with this setup you could use the Stanley cup without any problems whatsoever and uh, all stainless steel construction relatively inexpensive uh, I know some of these stoves out there go into the 50 and 60 dollar range and even more than that when you're getting into the titanium um, also this grilling grate is designed to cook directly on so if you had a steak or pork chop or squirrel whatever you'd put it right there on top of it and uh, grill on it without having any problems and just wash it off in the creek put it all back in the pack all in all they look like they're built pretty decent relatively lightweight like I said I'm going to roll in the footage of uh, of the scale so you can see exactly what these things weigh folded up but they fold up very flat even with that piece in there and the grill on it now that one is certainly heavier um, I would say that one's probably in the 12 ounce uh, 14 ounce range somewhere in there I'll know for sure later and like I said I would probably use it without the ash pan but I will get the weight with it in the stuff sacks because I would certainly use it in the stuff sack but that was just the first look at these things guys um, what I'm looking for in these things is a very affordable relatively lightweight alternative to some of the more expensive units that are out there I'm going to try to be um, narrowing these down. I've got uh, several vendors that I'm pulling these things from off the internet and I'm trying to work out some deals with them uh, on some pricing to buy in bulk and I'm going to be carrying um, some version of a stove like this um, on my website for sale. Uh, I'm going to be putting them in the eBay store and going to also try to list them on, uh, on Amazon as well. Um, so trying to get all the ducks in a row uh, looking at about 10 or 12 different items uh, in order to put in my store uh, where I'm actually going to be keeping inventory on these items. A couple of knives, uh, looking at a cook set or two, uh, looking at a few bags, uh, pouches for those bags. Um, some of that may be drop ship type stuff where uh, it's available in different colors and I may only stock one or two colors of it. Um, but the stoves uh, are something that is kind of a hobby of mine. I really like stoves, like cooking with wood um, and different things like that. So these are, are kind of interesting to me. I wanted to check them out and uh, get you guys' opinions on it and see what you think. So uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and uh, leave some comments down below. and Let me know what you think of these things. And uh, like I said, stay tuned. And I'm going to roll in some footage of these things, uh, boiling water and i uh, going to load them up with some wood outside. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think. Click that subscribe button, um, hit the like button down at the bottom if you like the video, leave some comments, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning back in guys. Uh, what we're going to do here is a burn test, first burn test, boiling water on the two wood burning stoves. Um, what I've got are fire cubes, uh, lighter cubes. These are the Weber cubes. Uh, as far as I can tell, I've done a little bit of testing with these so far. As far as I can tell, these are the exact same composition uh, as the wet fire uh, tinder cubes. Um, they feel alike. I've broken them both down and ground them up into as small as particles as I can possibly get uh, in testing. And they feel exactly the same. The, the burn is exactly the same. Everything looks just like it, but these are a heck of a deal uh, for as well as they work. So. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get these lit and I've got uh, small bundles of wood to put in on top of it. To make this as even as possible, I'm going to use the exact same pots, which are the Amusa grease pots on each stand. Uh, 
the water is all coming out of the same bottle. It was tap water, uh, cool, not super cold, and it's going to be 16 ounces each. There's exactly 32 ounces in here. able to put the tops back on each of them and those are just going to sit here until I get the fires uh, evenly lit from what I can visually see and uh, and then I will put the pots on I'm going to be timing it with my phone let's see here All right, I'm gonna start the timer. All right, it started. That way I'm gonna be able to pick them up and put them both on at the same time. I'll adjust the silicone handles so they don't melt. And we'll simply subtract about 25 seconds from the time for each of them. Some bubbles already forming on the big stove, which is what I expected. Uh, but still have some small bubbles forming on the little stove, too.
Right now we are three minutes and 53 seconds. Got some bubbles already forming on the big stove, which is what I expected, uh, but still have some small bubbles forming on the little stove too. It is a slow boil, but it is a boil. And that is at five minutes and three seconds. I'd say five minutes even, it was boiling a second ago. So, Five minutes on the large stove for two cups. And still waiting, but the bubbles are forming on the little stove. It's getting awful close. Six minutes and 50 seconds. And it is a slow boil, but the bubbles are coming to the top and getting faster. So just under seven minutes on the small stove and five minutes on the large stove. I'm going to go ahead and let that get to a full on rolling boil and see that time as well. But I do have to say that I am fairly impressed with these things. Um, for the money that they're gonna be available at, I, uh, I think they're excellent deals. We'll just have to see in a more long-term test. I'm gonna use these things quite a bit over the next couple of weeks and see how the stability and durability of them holds up. I know that they're not the greatest of stainless steels, but as long as you keep them relatively clean, the corrosion should be minimal on it. And uh, dry is the main thing. But they're fairly lightweight, especially the small one. And that's at 10 minutes. So even though it started to boil a lot sooner, uh, I was figuring around 10 minutes for it to, uh, to boil that anyway in my head as a guess before we started this. So I was actually very pleased with the eight minutes on it. The five minutes on the large one was pretty much what I expected. It's a lot more flame, a lot more surface area there, a lot more air getting into it. So there you go. Uh, if you like the video, please leave comments, click the uh, thumbs up down there that you liked it. And uh, if you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe. Uh, the, through the subscriptions and the comments and the likings are the likes of the uh, videos is the only way that it's going to grow. And I appreciate each and everybody, each and every one of you that uh, helps support the channel. Thank you for watching.